So we use the Blue Sky Fully Guided Kit. Um, we have it in the back. I'm going to walk through it here. I want, I want this, I want this, not the, these two dimensions to kind of sink in. One is the length, think 8.5, I want you to remember that, 8.5 millimeters in length, and the, the cylinder on these drills is 5 millimeters in diameter. So those are two really important dimensions that you start getting in your mind, because as we go into the software and we plan, we're going to be using these numbers. 8.5 is the height of this guided portion, and 5 is the diameter. So, let's see, I'm going to zoom through this very quickly. Um, okay, so here's the kit. We have it in the back. I'm just going to kind of talk through it really quick. I turned off the audio because I have this in an explanation, but we've got all these drills here. They all correspond to different widths of an osteotomy and lengths of an osteotomy. It's broken up into lengths 6 millimeters, 8 millimeters, 10, 11 and a half, 13, and 16. That's what Blue Sky uses for their, their lengths. These are the different, um, they're, they're broken up in the lengths of the drills, and then the widths increase here for your osteotomy. So a, a 2, 2 and a half, a 3, a 3 and a half, and a 4 and a 0.6. Um, here's an example of a guide. I have this up here. I'll pass this around. If you guys just want to pass this around, you can, you can look at it. This is, uh, this is kind of a, an early prototype of um, one option of a full arch, all on four, pin-supported guide, where we printed the model and then printed this guide. This multiple ways to design these guides. Um, but what, what I want to show is that in these drills here, they have this cylinder portion that actually goes through the metal sleeve and it engages on the walls of this drill right here. And so you guys can take this when you walk around, you can actually play with, with, the, with the, um, the kit and actually dr bring it through. But when we think about this, we want to think about how does our drill engage with that guide and actually get its control. So I think we'll show here is that the cylinder here on these drills is all uniform and it's all going to go right through the metal sleeve here, and that's where it actually gets its guide of angulation. And then it has a stop on the top of the drill that controls our depth. So we get our angulation from the cylinder on the drill, and then the stop controls our depth. So Blue Sky is really cool because they designed this, this kit to be what's called a keyless kit, where you print one guy that has a five millimeter-ish diameter of a sleeve, and all the drills fit through that and hub out. And if you've ever watched videos on guides, you can see various things like, and see that shaking right there, keep that in mind. That's called wag, that's called the wag. So that's the little play and the slop that's built into these guides. The tighter you make the guide, the less that thing's gonna have to be able to move. The looser that you make that guide, the more it's gonna be able to move. And then you think about the longer that that drill goes away from the tube, a short drill is just going to be able to deviate a little bit. The longer we get away, the deviation can increase. So think about that as you're planning your cases. Um, that's our flat drill. We're going to jump through. I'm going to skip past this video. We have a lot to cover here. But that gives you an idea of how these drills enter through. This, and that's a metal sleeve right there. So that metal sleeve has been pressed into the printed guide. So... Here's an overview. This is our planning here. 5x10 Biomax Blue Sky Implant. If you look at these drills, this, ha this doesn't change from here to here. This is 8.5 millimeters. That's that, that height that we talked about. 8.5 millimeters height, and the width we talked about is 5. So all, every drill in this kit, this component right in the middle here, is identical. And that's the beauty of this Blue Sky kit is it they haven't, it's a, it's a keyless kit. And the keys don't have that because you have to switch out all these keys for the smaller drill to the bigger drill to the bigger drill. This is keyless, so it's one, got, one setup. They all engage. And there's a couple of companies that have this. Um, and when you use Blue Sky Plan software, you can use other companies' um, osteotomy kits. And you can use other companies' implants. It's not proprietary. It's open. Um, we, this is what we use. We've stayed in that family, and it's worked for us. Uh, 
And I'll point out to you, we're going to get into this in a second. This is called a guide tube. And that term offset that we talked about, I'm going to show you, but this is a good diag diagram because what that term offset, it means the distance from the top of the drill where it hubs out to the platform of the implant. So we talked about the number 8.5. That's a really key number that you guys get memorized as kind of the default number, 8.5. Top of the guide tube, right to the platform of the implant. Top of the drill, right to the top of the, uh, the, the um, where the drilling portion starts, the top of the implant. So think 8.5, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5. So when we build these guides, this little stopper is going to hit right at the top of that guide tube. 